d'avoir à la tête de notre pays un chef d'état de dimension mondiale comme le président Paul Biya. Donc à l'occasion de son anniversaire, nous devons tous le vénérer. D'avoir à la tête de notre pays un chef d'état de dimension mondiale comme le président Paul Biya. Donc à l'occasion de son anniversaire, nous devons tous le vénérer. Un chef d'état de dimension mondiale comme le président Paul Biya. Un chef d'état de dimension mondiale comme le président Paul Biya. Avoir à la tête de notre pays un chef d'état de dimension mondiale comme le président Paul Biya. Donc à l'occasion de son anniversaire, nous devons tous le vénérer. So then they know they ask them whether these people are actually being normal. We really try to ask to find out if these people are really normal. But we come to understand that they are protecting a system. They are protecting their demigod. You know, these are people who can die for Pobia. These are people who can give their life for Pobia. You know, they are not giving their life for Pobia because of the good things Pobia is doing. You know, it is because it is the, the, the part that they have to always protect Pobia no matter what. Listen to what Atangan Jipo is saying. Listen to what Atangan Jipo is saying. When you get what Atangan Jipo is saying, you understand how chronic, how corrupt, how rotten the system is. And these are people who are ready to defend the system to any level, to any position that he is given, he's going to defend the system. These are people from their communities, from where they come from. The communities are in abject poverty. The communities are in ruin. They are in, you know, worse kind of treatment, but they prefer to glorify an individual over the general people. Now, this thing Atanga Jipo is doing is not different from the Ambazonian struggle. I want you guys to understand with me. Atanga Jipo spent his time glorifying Paul Bia. I want to let you people know that we have several Paul Bias in Ambazonian struggle. The struggle of a people has been condensed, has been reduced to the glorification of individuals. That's why you see there are some people who can go as far as creating 10,000 fake profiles to defend Ayabacho, to defend Sako, to defend Chris Anu, and you can name the rest. The question is, are they fighting to defend Ambazonia, the people of Southern Cameroon, or they are fighting to defend individuals? Because we are looking in to a forward in building a society where we are going to have strong institutions. But we have people who are building a, a society where they want to have strong names. They want to have strong names rather than strong institutions. You bear with me that there are people day and night in WhatsApp forum that if something does not come from Cho Ayaba, or it does not come from Sako Ikome, or it does not come from Chris Anu, it is not the truth. When it comes from these people, no matter how it comes, they will spread it. Even if they don't care if it's lies or whatever, they will spread it. I ask you people again this question. Are you standing for the people of Ambazonia or you are standing for a leader? Ambazonian struggle was not a struggle for leadership. I want to let you people know this clearly. Ambazonian struggle was never a struggle for who will lead the people. It's not a struggle for who will lead the people. It's a struggle for a people's liberation. It's a struggle for a people's liberation and for a country that was hijacked by the international community. Because this is the very first time that we see such a country end up in this kind of way. My dear brother, my dear sister, I knew that the moment you watched that video, you already started calling Atanganji names. But you forget to understand that we have many other Atanganjis in Ambazonian struggle. We have so many Atanganjis in Ambazonian struggle defending their phobia. Until one say Ayabais, like how they say Biais. Do you really get that? That is why, that is why you don't care 
when a grandmother, a pregnant woman, or a child in the village has problems, what, what your leader says is what stands. And Brazilian struggle is not a struggle for a leader. And I'll tell you guys this for free. It's a struggle for the people. And it's a people's struggle, not a struggle for a leader. Some of you say, oh, my leader has a roadmap. My leader has this. Where is the roadmap? For seven years, you don't have a piece of land that is your own. For eight years, one meter square piece of land you don't have. And you are talking about roadmap. When you watch that video, your, your interest was Atanganji, oh, Atanganji praising for Biadis, forgetting to know that in Ambazonian struggle. Maybe you watching me right now, you are even worse than Atanganji. You are worse than Atanganji. Atanganji is even better than you. You have taken an oath to defend a leader instead of defending the people. There is a question we always, we always ask which this question serves as a check and balance, right? It serves as a control mechanism. This action or this policy that this group is carrying out on ground zero, does it favor the, the local population or it is against them? This thing that these people are doing on ground zero, does it favor the local population or it is against the local population? These are questions we should ask. These are things that we need to answer. I hope you get my point. When you know the action that somebody does, when the, the, the things that somebody carries out on ground zero, it is easy to determine if their heart is in the struggle or they are not in the struggle. Because people like Atanganji and Pobia, they don't care. All what they care is to protect Pobia, let the system remain there. Those of you who have created your groups, those of you who believe in your group than Ambazonia, you believe so much in your group and your leader than the common man on the street. You forget that the common man on the street is the reason why you, your leader is there. And you, by so doing, you are destroying the struggle. The question remains, this policy that your group is carrying out does it favor the people on ground zero or it is against them? It's a simple question. Is it in their favor or is it against them? Who is this policy affecting the most? Just ask yourself this question. Before, you, before anything is being done, ask yourself, this thing we are doing, is it directly affecting the grandmothers, grandparents on ground zero or it directly affects La Republic. Okay, 10 days lockdown. Who does it affect the most? 10 days lockdown, but La Republic patrolling every day without any stress. It goes on and on and on. Always ask yourself these questions. Okay, everybody on ground zero pay 15,000. Who is paying this money? And on which condition? What are they working? What is their job? You take from them instead of giving them. It's affecting them negatively. Okay, we block this road. Nobody pass on this road. Indefinitely. La Republic passes there without any stress. But the poor grandparents, they cannot pass on the road. Who is your policy affecting on ground zero? Some of you have built your phobia, you believe so much in your group that is even worse than CPDM. Some of your groups in this struggle are worse than CPDM. That you type, you cling so much to your group, you have become a surrogate. You see old people, you see grand, you see people in this struggle who are who are even more than the age of great grandparents. They will glorify a leader till they are great. You glorify somebody, no matter what the person is doing, you never criticize the person. Whether the person is wrong or right, oh, you are there. Atanga Jipo, so many in Ambazonian struggle. They are watching me right now. 
create you you create fake profiles on social media to defend a leader. When you hear when Fabiano comes and call the name of a leader, oh you immediately bam, you are the first person to comment and start throwing insult. You forget to reflect on what Fabiano said. Focus on the message. Analyze the message. Is it true? Is it true? Not attacking Fabiano. You keep building your problems. Like I told you before, the, the struggle, the Ambazonian struggle is not a struggle for leadership. It's a people's struggle. And Ambazonian will be free. Thank you for watching.